Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Game here, and welcome to Archeo Shinar. So, this is a archaeological strategy game where you get to take over control of a team of explorers in hopes of uncovering some of Earth's greatest mysteries and archaeological finds. But, without further ado, let's hop into it, shall we? So, we're going to start out on normal uh, because I'm pretty bad at this game, to be completely honest. Um, it's not, it does have a little bit of a learning curve, it seems to me. Um, but there is not a career mode at the moment, so now there's only like a 30 turn um, sort of, I guess, teaser um, in the game. So I guess we're going to start with that. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, yes, I definitely want to start a new one because my other one was absolutely terrible. <laughs> we don't want to go back to whatever the frick that was. All right, so now it's time for character creation. I do believe I'm going to name my character Frederick Alec. That's not how you spell Frederick. <laughs> Frederick Alexander, just because it sounds kind of fancy. And, you know, he's got to have a fancy name. Even though he's not going to be doing any of the dirty work, he's got to at least sound like he could get down and dirty and do something. That hair is, uh, he looks like freaking, um, Uncle, is it Uncle Vernon from freaking Harry Potter? <laughs> With that hair. Okay, let's switch this. Ooh, that's, ooh. What face do you want to do? I'm just going to pick the guy with the nerdy glasses and the giant mustache. This is perfect. <laughs> this is absolutely perfect. I, I'm, I like it. Since we don't have to get dirty, we're just going to put on a nice little suit here. And, uh, we'll forget about everything else that happens. Let's see. We can pick our stamp. I like the sword, or whatever the frick. I le that looks like a sword. We'll go with that. All right. So, welcome to the career of Frederick Alexander. We are glad that such an accomplished and promising person has appeared on our radar. I don't think I am that. We've been following your achievements for quite some time. This is why we are sure that we should extend our proposal to you as well. You might regret that, actually. a great future for you, but it's not a path for those who are fond of procrastinating. Which I actually am. It requires <laughs> hard work and dedication. We strongly believe that you have what it takes to work your way to a position of chairman in our institute. Oh, no, I, okay, that chairman. Right. We are looking for the suitable person to fill in the vacancy in our ranks. All right, I'm tired of your letter, sir. All right, I understand. He's looking to, to get someone to become the chairman of the Institute, which he thinks that could be me, which I think he is gravely mistaken. But, let's see. So, we've already got a few people already on our team of um, explorers. So, we've got, let's see, quarters. We've got Mr. William Holmes, not Sherlock, maybe he's related, who is great in linguistics. I'm trying to see what our strength of our team would be at the moment. Everybody else is kind of bad. He's really good in linguistics. Then we've got a guy that's good in geology. Um, we got a, another guy that's pretty good in combat. Um, and then we've got another guy, another guy that's good in geology. So we got two. Well, actually, no, that was two decent geologists. We got one good linguistics guy, and then we've got this guy who kind of just I don't know what to say about him. James McBride <laughs> plays violin and always wears a strange hat, even though in his picture he's not wearing one. So um, it's gonna have to it's gonna have to live up to that reputation, but. We're going to have to see what we have available for expeditions for the moment. So we've got, let's see, tribal diplomacy, linguistics. Now, considering how hard, uh, considering how much the reward is going to be, I'm assuming this is going to be pretty hard. So uh, even though we do have a guy that's good in linguistics, we only have one that's good in it. Now, this one is a combat one. We really only had one guy that was good in combat. And then this is a geology one. I don't like any of these, to, complete, to be completely honest. I mean, if I had to pick one, I mean, geology would probably be the one we would be better with. But we only have currently um, five explorers, so we're going to need a sixth. If I fail this mission, this is not going to go over really well at all. Um, so that's kind of a thing to think about. So we need to find, that guy's really good in archaeology. And then this guy is decent in linguistics. Maybe we could do the linguistics one then. We could take him and the other guy. I still feel like... Um, geology would be our more strong suit, though. I mean, uh, I definitely have to do the geology one. I have to. Like, there's there's no other way around that one. It's got to be that one. So, out of these guys, better geology would be, I guess, the other guy, right? No, 15 versus 12. I guess, yeah, him. 275. We'll go ahead and hire him. Worst case scenario, if we don't use him, we don't use him. Uh, he's just there for the moment. So, the geology one, that's not that one. It's this one. This is probably not going to go over well. I only get $700 back if this fails, so that kind of sucks. Um, but let's go ahead and start it. So we're going to pick our best, our finest geologist to, to help us on this mission, which I wish I could go on, but I guess I can't. 
So we'll pick Carl Valmel, whatever the frick, Carl Valmeller. Uh, we've got, let's see, we'll take Henry Frankfurt. I mean, we pretty much have to take everybody, actually, so there's really no point. <laughs> there's really no point. Everyone's going, all right? Everybody's going. If everyone dies, um, that's uh, pretty unfortunate. I hope that doesn't happen. Well, let's see. I don't know how many, um, there's like these different timed events that happen, so I'm not sure exactly how many of them there are. So I don't want to necessarily give up my best guys just yet, even though I just did on that one. All right, so we got a success. We found a mummy portrait. Don't know if we really want that. That thing might be freaking cursed. Black market value. Ew, what? 75 to 150, really? That's all we're going to get? Come on. I want something that's worth worth some actual money. So we got another one. Um, It's a question here. Do I really want to put my best guy who would be, let's see. My best geologist would now be Henry Frank. Actually, no. We could send Henry and then we'll take Carl for the next one. All right, so we'll see if we get a success. Yes, we do. This one doesn't seem to be as hard as I thought it was going to be, at least for the moment. So that's already two missions down. All right, th ooh, this is an exp exploration one. We don't even have a person that's good in exploration, do we? 21, 15, 23. So we'll have to send William. I believe we'll have to send no, James. And then we'll have to send um, the other guy. All right, so that one was a failure. I, I hate that it's, it's sending me on exploration missions. You didn't mention that. You said it was geology based. There we go. All right, so we'll send Carl Volmer on that one. All right, and that was a success as well. So now we've completed, what is it, three? Um, we've had three successes. This is probably going to be a failure. Um, I, don't need, I only got one person left. Never mind, it was a success anyway. This is turning out a lot differently than I thought it would, to be completely honest. Did not expect this to go over well, but we got $6,000 out of that, as well as an artifact, plus reputation bonus of three, and someone developed a fear, I guess. Henry Frankfurt uh, developed a fear of trauma, traumatophobia. I guess he's afraid of tra uh, traumatic injuries. I mean, aren't most people? I don't think anybody wants to necessarily break a bone or anything like that. So, um, all right, so let's see. For your last expedition, you get $6,100 and a repu uh, three points of reputation. All right. So we're up to eleven thousand dollars so far. We have to pay our explorers a total salary of sixteen hundred. Now, we could choose not to pay them, but really all that does is just prolong the inevitable. You kind of put, you would kind of need to do that in a situation where you didn't make any money. So we could go ahead and afford to pay them. Um, so we can actually afford to have some pretty bad explanations for our explorations uh, in the next couple turns, for the time being. Uh, you've been invited to a small uh, private picnic in Hard Knot. You don't personally know the person who organized it, Frank Francis Haverfield, but you know he's associated with the academic community in Oxford. There won't be a lot of guests, merely 12. Many of them are small fries. However, there will be the accursed Giacomo Boni, who publicly states negative opinions about your every article uh, in the Royal Archaeology Gazette. I didn't even publish an article in there, so I don't know what he's really talking about. Of course, he can do because of the connections. Uh, of course, he can do because of the connections. He knows their editor-in-chief very well since they played chess every Tuesday. It just makes it easier to publish some biting remarks. On the other hand, Mr. Haverfield claims that the press doesn't know about the event, and each editor will be turned down. This situation is tricky. You could achieve something valuable or learn a great story here, but it could also be a trap. I want to say it's a trap, but at the same time, I got nothing better to do. I mean, I'm organizing these things, but, I mean, my spare time, nothing changes, at least for now. The freak does that mean? Uh, Sir George Charles Lennox bought Bear Rock for 924. So there are land auctions as well that happen during this, um, where you can actually buy property and put stuff on it. Um, so let's see, property management. We've got land stock. Selling price of land is currently 847. So we want to see if we can get um, faces of the gods. Faces of the gods. I guess this is. This looks like a freaking cave. Um, population density 25, fertility 7, urbanization 7. I'm going to bid $1,200 for this. Um, it's above selling price. So, well, actually, we won't put that much. We'll do 1000 All right. So that way we should get it, hopefully. Hopefully no one will outbid us. But now, let's see. There's also some other things that we can get. There's a merchant company, tobacco, coffee. I want to see if we can buy a shovel, but I guess we can't buy a shovel. So never mind then. wanted a shovel. There's also the black market, which we do have an item... That is currently available for that. But the thing is, let's see the risk. Sale chance, 15. The risk is medium. If you do sell these items, they um, they can get captured by authorities. And then you'll pretty much lose it. So I'm just going to sell it for the lowest price possible. 
because um, I don't really care too much about this thing. It wasn't worth that much anyway. So we'll just go for margin of 15 risk. Okay, we'll just go ahead and send it to the black market and we'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, it gets taken, it gets confiscated, it doesn't really bother me much. Um, like I said, if it was something that was of more value, then I would care. But since it's not, I don't. Um, ooh, we've got a woman available in the labor market. What's she good at? Um, exploration is her strong suit. It's once a member of the literature club, but it turned out it turned out into a horror. What? Okay. This guy hates the color. His name is Thomas Jefferson. I feel like we have to hire him just based on the status of him being named Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> just because his name is Thomas Jefferson, I feel like we have to hire him. He's going to be our good combat specialist, I guess. Now, we can as well, um, we can as well teach our people different things. So, like, for instance, let's see, learning, history, I want to see what's the next, um, thing that we can go on, next expedition, because I might base it, uh, do it based on that. There's an archaeology and survival one. It's a tomb ride. There's a history one for 5,300. Uh, there's a combat one and survival, which requires five explorers. Combat, we did just hire a combat specialist pretty much. This one should be fairly easy, I would think. But we don't really have, I don't think we really have a survivalist, to be completely honest. So that might be the downside to that. That guy's 29. We got one at 23. This guy's 13. Thomas Jefferson would be our best at pretty much everything. So, I mean, uh, I'm going to try it just to see. Uh, so, that was the tempering character one. All right. We'll see. Worst case scenario, we get $400 uh, back from it. Uh, we'll probably, like I said, we can afford a couple bad expeditions right now for the time being. Uh, but I can't really continue that for too long. Uh, we do get a reputation bonus of one if we complete this as well. So, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Definitely, of course, we're going to have to take Mr. Thomas Jefferson and his magical sideburn beard or whatever you want to call this. I guess it's really just his hair. <laughs> Definitely have to take him. Um, we're pretty much, let's see. We're going to pick best combat specialist and best survivalist. So, Mr. Henry Frankfurt is also pretty good in combat. Uh, so, we'll take him. Let's see. We've also got Carl Vollmer. He's not, he's a pretty decent survivalist. So, I think we'll take him. Uh, and then we've got James McBride. Yeah, he's not really good in either. William Holmes, he's not really that good in either either, but I guess we'll take him. We probably just won't take James. He'll probably be the last one we leave behind. <laughs> we just won't take him. He's, he's not really worth the adventure right now. So we've got Oscar Muscarella. And then we've got... Eh, actually, 13 and 17. Is he better than him? 13 and 17, 15 and 12. All right, we're taking um, we're taking Mr. Edward Thompson and Mr. Oscar Muscarella. Actually, do we not have to take them? Hold on. I may have picked somebody that I didn't mean to pick. If we've got to pick between these two, I definitely want to pick Oscar. Yeah, we're going to take Oscar. You, you get out of there. I'm not taking you. Come, come back. I don't want you. There you go. All right. So, let us begin our expedition. Now, I, of course, am watching this from the comfort of my office, so... You boys tell me how it goes. I hope that failure will not be tolerated here. I hope we're going to make at least some money off of this, to be completely honest. Combat specialty. So, we're going to pick our best combat, or one of our decent combat guys. I don't want to take the best combat. So, we'll take... Hmm, I'll take Oscar, and then I'll take William. I think this will do. Okay, yeah, so that's fine. I don't want to put my best guys on there just yet, just in case I need them for like a single mission. Um, so we'll keep those guys around for the time being. Uh, hopefully this will work out. This oh, this is a history one. We don't even have a history guy, do we? 26 and 17. We'll keep Thomas Jefferson. All right, so we'll send Henry and we'll send um, Mr. Vollmer. All right, so we'll send those two. Let's see if this worked. That was another success. So this last one I hope is a combat one. If it's not, I'm going to be very disappointed because he told me it was a combat. Actually, it might be a survival one now that I think about it. Geology and combat capability. So, Thomas Jefferson is the only person we got left. He's not really that good in geology, but he's pretty good in combat. So, hopefully, this will work out, and it did. All right. So, that should be the end of the expedition. And with that, the expedition should be an overwhelming success. Yes, indeed. So, we didn't get any artifacts from that, but we did get $2,200, which should be at least enough to um, cover our cost, our expenses that we had for that expedition. So, I'm okay with that. So... Thomas Jefferson has um, developed a fear of spiders, arachnophobia, and Henry Frankfurt has developed traumatophobia. All right. 
Welcome home, boys. I do believe that was a successful expedition, and I will take it. All right, black market notification. Uh, all right, so that was sold for sixty-three dollars. At least it's off the market now, if I can say that. As far as uh, total salary was nineteen hundred. How much did we get from that mission? I forgot just that quick. Uh, I mean, we'll go ahead and pay him anyway. Um, we bought. Okay, the land that we just bought is now there. Okay, so now we can do. Okay, we got twenty-two hundred, so we did make a profit there, and we got one point of reputation as well. All right, so let's see. We've got Dangerous Habit. Last expedition, right? Quite a success, obviously. However, William Holmes' attitude has changed. There must have happened something dreadful. He returned with a new friend to... Oh, wait, that doesn't sound right. To keep his mind clear. Yes, you guessed correctly. It's opium. Oh. Um, no, we're not going to have you freaking on opium. We're not, that's not going to be a thing. Okay, now he's insane. Never mind. Maybe we, maybe we should have let him smoke the opium. He's gonna, we might have to have him to fire Mr. Holmes. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we can keep a, an insane man around. He might turn on everybody on the team and just murder everybody in their sleep. I definitely don't need that. Or he might just jump off a cliff. That might happen too. <laughs> that might also happen. So, back to our property management now. We do have this one piece of land. So I want to see exactly what I can do with it. So we've got, we can build property on it. Um, I want to see. If we do, we can build a coffee plantation. Uh, by building a coffee plantation, you will provide yourself with a solid portion of energy and all thanks to the fresh coffee delivered every turn. All right, so let's see. What other ones can we do? We can do tobacco, gin. There's a casino that we can build, which I, I think generates us income per turn. I think the hotel would do the same thing. Um, every self-respecting investor just has to build a hotel. Uh, positive features, uh, population density. Uh, this means prestige provides you respect, better position, and of course, more quarters for your employees. I'm thinking we do the casino. I'm going casino. All right. Well, the exclusive club. I don't know what that does. Uh, managers, archaeology. Now, I'm going to have to pick somebody to run this, though. So that's the only unfortunate thing. I guess I'll probably pick the worst guy that we have. <laughs> probably the worst guy that we have. Although positive features, managers, combat capability. I'm going to buy this. All right. I'm going to assign a manager... We're going to assign, you and I are very much alike, archaeology is our religion, isn't it? Mr. Cup, all right, I don't know why you're talking to me. My cup of coffee talks to me. I guess it gives me hints and tips. Kind of a weird thing. Maybe I'm the one that's insane when you really think about it. But I'm going to send Mr. James McBride on to be the manager because he really isn't that great at anything. So he's kind of our, actually, I guess maybe not James. Maybe we could have sent the other guy. Can I, let's see, if I unassign him. It'll take one turn to fulfill the paperwork. And that means we don't have a manager. I'm just going to keep him there. It is what it is. All right. Back to the lobby. Let us see what we have in terms of expeditions again. And tribal diplomacy. That's a linguistics one. 1,600 with five explorers. That one's probably going to be really, um, probably really cheap. Um, or really easy. Archaeology and geology. We're going to do another smaller one. I think we'll do... Geology and exploration. Let's see. What are our strong suits here? Geology, 23. We do have a couple good explorers. We do have a couple good geology people as well. Um, so that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Thomas Jefferson's pretty good with the exploration too. Let's see if we can have Thomas... Uh, actually, we'll, we'll try and get Edward to learn something. Archaeology, history. Um, Edward's good in archaeology, isn't he? So we'll train him in history. I didn't realize he was actually good in that. I didn't, I didn't even look up that way. I thought he was just bad in everything. I didn't see he was good, really good in archaeology. So, thinking of that now, let's see. What's our archaeology overall? I was going to say we could do the archaeology if we had an archaeology one. Which I don't think... That one's archaeology and geology. That would require nine explorers, which we don't have. And I don't feel like hiring that many people. So let's not do that. We will go ahead and do... The gold rush one, all right? So we'll send geology, geology. We'll send Carl Volmer, Volmeller. We'll send Henry Frankfurt. We'll send Thomas Jefferson, I believe, is pretty decent. Yeah, we need a ex, uh, we need an exploration guy. So we'll send, let's see, William Holmes, eh, Oscar Marlarella. He's our good geologist, so we'll send him too. And then we'll send, we'll send Edward, all right? All right, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> hopefully it goes fine. I'm thinking everything's going to be okay for the time being, so hopefully this works out. Let's see, what is our first one going to be on this mission? 
Oh, it's all three for exploration. So let's see. Best explorers. Who do we have? Henry can go. Thomas is pretty good. Oscar. Uh, I'll send Thomas. And I'll send... We'll just send Edward. All right. I want to keep some of my geologists around just in case. Uh, so that one was a success. There's probably only going yeah, to be three of these, I think. Or it could be two. Nope, it's going to be three. Archaeology. Frick, I sent my best archaeologist on the last one. God dang it. All right, we'll, we'll just send Oscar. We'll see if this works. It worked. Okay, never mind then. This mission must not... Actually, this was a pretty cheap mission. This wasn't going to be that hard anyway, I guess. So it's okay. This is not the one where it's a real big deal. Exploration in Geology, Mr. Carl Volmer, your name has been called. Welcome. All right. Oh, frick. <laughs> I didn't choose him. There we go. There you go. All right, so that was a pretty good success. We didn't find any artifacts or anything during that time, but eh, it's okay. $2,900 uh, for that, which should be enough to pay for our overall expenses uh, for that expedition. So let's see. Sir George Charles Lennox bought Valkyrie Pass for $1,200. They're spending a lot on this land and stuff, which... uh. Concerns me. I got $93 from our casino. Ooh, $93. Can we upgrade our casino? Alright, so we got $2,900. How much is our salary for that? $1,900. So we made like a profit of $1,000. So we'll go ahead and pay that. Alright. Evening in the tea house. After the enigmatic invitation, you've attended a meeting in the local tea house. It was more or less dull experience, and the tea wasn't a thrill. The gentleman behind this little party is some kind of enigma himself. He met you behind the noise to talk in private. You've never caught his name, but he definitely knows yours and also your profession. His goal, or maybe the goal of this evening, is to sell you some Chinese pot. Some Chinese pot. I kind of read that in the wrong way. I was thinking Chinese pot like drug at first. <laughs> Jin Diang pot from the Western Han Dynasty. To be specific, of course, most of this event gave you some time to confirm its authenticity. It is legit, but the price? Only $700. You don't know this man. He didn't even introduce himself properly, but there is something shady going on. Legit artifact, low price. It's probably got freaking some thing that's going to take my soul, because that is an, an achievement in the game. So I don't want to do that. I'm not going to take that deal. No, thank you, sir. I do not want your shady pots. But I'm going to end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.